So, Super Duper Di Mario World the first. It has been... It has been... A Stone Age since I last played this game. I don't think I'm gonna do all exits, but I think I am gonna at least like try and go through the whole game. Well, most of the whole game. Oh, uh, a bit. I'm not a very good conversation starter, so I can't, uh, tonight I was kind of debating if I want to start off the stream playing, uh... Hi, Blazing Bronze. I was debating on just doing a just chatting stream tonight. But, I'm a terrible conversation starter, so... I think it'll be nice just to... So Monday, I'm just gonna chill, play Super Mario World. Kind of get a feel back for the game again after not touching it in forever. Ugh. I was, like... I still do enjoy playing Monster Hunter, but just, like, because of the issues that have been going off my shoulder over the last couple days, I've been... I'm not one been wanting to play much or had really had the ability to play much without like feeling something dragging away at my attention, so this is where we are now. Where I literally am just like play a game. Don't want to play a game. Sh arms being weird, so we'll see if this snaps me out of my funk. Well, there goes the extra, there goes the one up. Oh, well, let's just do this the complete wrong way. And Ayash. I am. Yeah, same. Actually, not, I mean, I'm not trying to make this a, being blunt, I'm not trying to make this a dick waving contest, but I mean, I, I do still have my original copy and my brother's original copy. ceiling up there. Huh. What do you know? Things you can still find out about 20 years later. Uh, I will say though, I am playing it on... I don't know if I can get this in... Can on can oh jeez, hold on. Knock that down to the depths and never get it back. I am playing on a... There you go. You can kind of see it in frame. I am playing it on a SNES Classic. 
I could have played it on the Switch Online library, but just, nah. I didn't feel like that at the moment. Jeez. Isn't... Yeah, that's where the pipe is. I mean... If I may, just for the sake of... Like it's miss like it's missing some games that I've considered classics to myself, but it's got some other classics that I feel like if you never got it originally, you're never gonna find it because it's just gonna cost an arm and a leg to get like an original copy uh, or an original cartridge of said game. Several games, for that matter, to be honest. Like, I'll return. I'll return this in a second. Like, I found it, I found a copy of this at a, at a used game store. I still paid $45 for it. The, uh, this is probably a common game, but I feel like this is still like 30 bucks. I have yet to see this at a used game store. This is a common game. This will this will run at like 15. Common? But it is oddly expensive because it was like the height, the peak of what the Super Nintendo could do. So it, it still costs a lot. I haven't seen a copy of this anywhere. I lost my copy of this game. You're paying at least $150 for a copy of Earthbound. That's at least $50. That's at least $100. That's at least $75. That's at least $75. That's about $20, oddly enough. That's at least $80. That's about $25. Not possible to find. That's about $30. That's about $40. I have yet to see that anywhere. That's about $15. And yeah, $45. And I think physically, I own... 1, 2, 3, 4... I think I sold that, actually. Why? Did I, I don't know why I sold that game. No, I never had that game. I only rented it. So up to 4... Nope, I only rented that one. Five. Yep, I only own, I only own, physically own only five of these. Eh, I could be off. I could be off on what I said, but yeah, it's just... Old games that have staying power cost lots of money. But it will say, okay, you got me doing this. Let me go over to my treasure trove in the closet. Not in the closet, but in the corner. Yeah, there's just like, there's also always like, you know, a couple games that you are just not going to find on anything like this. And finding a physical copy somewhere is also going to cost you a bit. Like, I don't know what I picked up Tetris Attack for. 
I'm gonna say it was probably like 20 bucks, but that's a classic. And, and Artie Lightfoot, this is a classic to me. I picked it up to use for like 15, but it was also, you know, it's a game nobody knows about, so it was cheap. Anyway, enough gloating. Back to the Morrow Worlds. Yeah. Um, who knows what this night will bring? Maybe my head will. Maybe I'll snap back on. Maybe I'll snap on my funk as I go through this, and I'll decide to play something. That's not the pipe that goes anywhere. Or was it? Hold on. I thought so. I was off by pixel. But yeah, maybe I'll snap on my funk at some point tonight. And... Um, yeah, maybe I'll snap on my funk at some point tonight and I'll decide to play something else random. I was thinking of playing Team Fortress 2 earlier tonight. Just to kind of take a trip down memory lane of sorts. But... Then I just kind of felt like I don't really want to set up the computer... And all this stuff, and I don't want to do the hip and the hopping in. Ooh, primo slowdown. to be about 9 30 10 o'clock my time i'll see how i'll see how i feel about keeping the train going tonight anyway i didn't see you guys all week i didn't see any you guys all weekend how have you guys been doing have a good weekend or if not for the weekend are you at least having a good Monday night. I'm having problems. Attempt to throw your little ball at me. Okay. Oh. Hey, that's been a bit, has it? Oh. Sorry, I ha I'm not exactly my normal, extremely perky self. say don't want you right now Yoshi hold on well there with that cape
There's one. Give. Oops. I think there's a moon up here, if memory serves. Or Durgadon. All according to cake. Oh boy. I, I the cake has lied to me. Oh, well, I've done a goof this day, haven't I? Used to be, I used to be well enough well enough to get to the ghost house here without having to like dip into donut plates too. Oh well. That's kind of a marvel of games of, of when you get older you learn how they work so then you understand oh if I do if I get towards the end of the screen I'll sp and I spam the uh, and I spam both run buttons I can fire infinite fireballs not not that pipe that pipe Excuse me. Still got some weird touch, and I'll proceed to lose it immediately. Off screen, come down, kick. Huh, weird. That is a combination of buttons you ha you have to hit in order to turn around in midair with the cape while flying. Alright, and now we proceed back to Donut Plains. And the reason why nobody can ever spell donut properly in this day and age. Good job, Japan. You ruin good job, Japan, you ruined the Eng the English language. Not, I'm not that cool at this game. Oh. Well, um, I wanted that, but okay, that's fine.
And now I definitely wanted that, because Rip Van Fish is a thing. Bye, Rip. I'm just evening out the playing field, don't worry about it. And come in here for a dragon coin, a one up, and a fire flower down this side. You know you've been watching too much Rock I win. It's in the game, bro. Not cheating. This is that's the other ghost house we have to fly above, right? Noted. Whoops. Here I was trying to shoot fireballs for swag points. I think this one is literally just dig down the right side for the secret exit. Cause come on, bro. <laughs> Gotta game fast. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and do those other ones, too. 
Oops. There we go, that's what it is. Okay, that's fine. Bye, Cloud. Enjoy your trip. Iggy knows. What sort of plebeian uses not the blue Yoshi and the power of flight? Of infinite flights, if you will. Uh, me apparently. Because I can't keep my Yoshi anymore. That's the kind of plebeian who, do who doesn't u always use the same Yoshi. Uh, I think. Dang it. Had I not squandered my Yoshi, it would be possible. But now I think it actually is impossible to hit that switch and finish off this one the yeah, normal way. Alright, I haven't beaten this yet. So I'll take a loss. I've heard that name Red Earth before. I don't remember where. But I have heard of the, the name Red Earth. I just don't know what platform that's all on and whatnot. Oh, God. Okay. Step one. Acquire Blue Shell. Step two. Acquire this. Step three. Egg. Do not forget step three. It is vital to the success of this operation. And I just kind of ride low and do what I want. Oh. Bad Yoshi. We needed that. Dang it. Can I approach it from this side? Yeah, I can. Skip the level. Look, Yoshi, he skips the level. He doesn't care about the game. Okay, there should be a platform down here. I should land. There it is. Oops. Hi, Nara. Hello, bored child. I am. Odd. Oops. I am oddly very meh. Hi, Raven. I'm doing all right. I'm kind of in a, I'm kind of in a weird place of meh to n today, and uh, and I was yesterday too. Oh shoot. Uh, huh. Cause I haven't got the red switch. I can do it this way. Got it. Trained Yoshi sniper over here. Haha, uh -huh, I don't get, didn't get red or blue, so I need to do it this way anyway. Boop -boop -boop. Uh, this wasn't the play, Chief. Ow. 
Okay, now I go for the normal exit just to complete the star and make myself feel better. Uh oh! You did that! It was all you! You did it! I saw you do it! You planned it from the start! How could you, you monster? Oh god, you're planning- you're plotting against me! Okay, I now understand how this thing works. Okay, that worked. Oh yeah, Yellow Yoshi. But yeah, I don't know. As I was telling people earlier, uh, the others that were here earlier, I guess this is mainly for you, Raven, by Yoshi. <laughs> this is mainly for you, Raven, there, but like, I'm kind of in a weird funk today. And I bring that up because I don't have any kind of... I don't mean to get... I don't mean to get... Qu well, there goes my Yoshi. I don't mean to get heavy on people who might have this issue, but like I've been like kind of in a quote unquote depressive funk, so to say. But I don't have I'm not don't have depression. At least not clinical at least not proven yet. I've just been kinda like, I don't wanna do anything. I don't f and I don't wanna do anything, I don't wanna participate in anything. I don't want to play any Vigigrams. I don't want to, yeah, like, I literally just kind of sat here and stared at my screen for a while before I started streaming doing absolutely nothing. I wanted to record today. Like, okay, here's how my day went. Because, because of the shoulder issues, I've been having a me really messed up sleep schedule. I can at least, like, do this now. It doesn't hurt anymore, which is a plus, but, like, I still got that weird twinge from sore muscles. Um, but yeah, I've been in a, I've, I've been, I woke up at 3.30 this morning. Yeah, I woke up at 3.30 this morning, uh, stayed up against my better judgment. Or what lack of judgment I have, I should say. Yeah, stayed up. Did, did my normal... I decided, oh hey, it's now this time in the morning. I'll go ahead and just do my normal workout and... You're supposed to be P switched. Or, yeah, you're supposed to be silver switched. You too, throw coins. This works. I went out and did some grocery shopping. Got home at 10. Caught up with caught up with a friend who randomly had the who randomly had the day off, so I caught up with him for a bit, and then one o'clock is just like I just went, I'm a tired. And I proceeded to, at that point, oops, I, uh, at that point, went, decided to take a nap in all my infinite wisdom. Come on, hit this. I, no, no, that doesn't have one. I'm glad I have the cape, at least. So I'm glad I have the cape at least. I said, well, I was glad. I was almost there. And then I took a nap. That lasted until like 4 o'clock. And then I had to hurry up and complete some chores around the house. And that's what leads us to this moment right here. Also, I think, if I'm thinking right on this... Uh, I think if I go left, I can go up and above. 
I have no idea where I am. Well, that's not it. <laughs> there is a, there is like, you can go above at some point in this stage. And I would rather do that than try and navigate through all this. Maybe I just gotta gamer my way through everything, huh? As I proceed to almost get bopped there. Watch out, this man plays games. Oh, he, they still drop. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Leave immediately, sir. There we go. I'm rewarded for my lack of effort. Ow, my knee. I'll be honest, it's been it's been ages since I last did any of this stuff, so I don't I do not remember where anything is. Uh Alright. Well If I may inquire, Raven, which 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 ones? Is it the well you said Link's Awakening. Is it actually is it Link's Awakening? Is it Link Between Worlds? Shoot. Is it Link Between Worlds or is it the randomizer? Cause that's kind of where I'm God, I have played that game way too much. Or Link's Awakening. I'm stupid. I'm big I'm big stoop. I was thinking Link to the Past. Don't ask why. If you ask why, I'm going to take your lunch money. I'm taking your lunch money anyway. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that series. Because Link's Awakening is one of my, uh, is one of my, ch is, you know, Link's Awakening is a childhood game of mine. I'm glad they got remade for the Switch. Well, that's something I could have done tonight. I could have continued my hard mode of Link's Awakening. Oops. Yeah, um... Yeah, Link's Awakening was one of my childhood games. Like, the original Game Boy. In fact, if, if I go dig around, I might be able to find it. Oh, I missed a Durgadon. Let's have some fun with that. Hold on, let me... Because this is just kind of free flow tonight anyway. Let me go look. Swoop a doopy diving. So, yeah. Like, I'm not, it's not just a bit. It is one of my childhood games. This is my original cartridge of Link's Awakening. So I've been playing, that is one of my favorite games. I've been playing it since I've been a wee lad. Oh, okay.
If it's any consolation, that is, I did not hurt my shoulder. I want to be all the colors of the rainbow. Let me be the Yoshi rainbow. Oh, Yoshi rainbow, Yoshi rainbow broke. <laughs> The street lamps or the sun. And God forbid if you had to and God forbid if you ran out of battery. Uh God forbid if you ran out of battery in the middle of the face shrine. Uh I think I've got it hiding around here. No, maybe I threw it out. Maybe I actually Maybe I actually used my brain for once in my in my life, considering I was probably never gonna use the dang thing again anyway. Uh shoot. Um, oh yeah. I had it, the lights on it crapped out on me, obviously, because it was technology that I used too much, so it waned away and faded into obscurity and death, but it's not that. Um, I had, I, my parents, because my parents got tired of me playing my games by the night lights and whatnot. Dang it. Um, I had one of those magnifier light combination things that clipped onto the back of the Game Boy. It was it was the official one, so it was the same color scheme. I think I burned that thing out. I think oh god, pretty sure I burned out that light. Play, uh, playing hours of Mole Mania and getting stuck on puzzles. Cause who oh boy, Mole Mania. That's. That's a trip down memory lane. One of those games Mr. Mirror, Mirror Tomato made that never saw the light of day again. Yeah, ice physics. Please. I want I want store man. I want go to the store man. Mm. Oh good, single tile jumps with ice physics. I love it. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna relax. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think I've, I've got the Game Boy. I still have the Game Boy some here. Yeah, I still got it. At least I think this is where it is. Hmm. Where'd my Game Boy Pocket get to? But yeah, like... I've got... Oh, did I leave a game in? For shame, Scooter. For shame. I lost the back plating to mine. But I mean, I still have my Game Boy. This is my childhood Game Boy. This isn't like repurchased. This is the one I had when I was a kid. It still works. Yeah, I mean, I've still got my Game Boy Color, my Game Boy Pocket. You can't see my Game Boy Color because it's a green Game Boy Color. Oops. 
Does it have batteries? Okay, good. I took those out. I forgot about this. Easter egg. I see curiosity now strikes me. It's fine, don't worry about it. I think the battery's just kaput it on me. Ugh. I'm just curious. Uh, by the way, I said for shame, Scooter, because the bat the battery unit's dead by now, so I've probably lost any saves, but I mean It's the one. It's the one. Still need batteries. <laughs> Cannibalize batteries. I have to see if I have... This is becoming a trip down memory lane today. We might... I might... We. You know what? I could probably do a stream where I just take trips down memory lane. Yeah, it turned on. But yeah, the internal battery in this is probably kaput, so I probably can't. Oh, it is on. Continue. The B? What the? Fork? I don't believe it. Okay. That's hella weird. So, like, you probably can't see that on screen at all. No, you can. If I do it like this. So, the cartridge still works and it still saves data. It's weird. I figured the internal battery would have died ages ago. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point we can turn this to a just chatting stream and I can just go digging through all the weird paraphernalia I've got of video game stuff. We'll call it a history door. We'll call it a history tour. Mm, speaking of, this is mainly for Farf if he happens to pop in, but I have. I have purchased another game. I'll be playing at some point, but from what I've seen from trailers... Uh, this is uh, Snack World, by the way. What I've seen from trailers of this game is that it works... It looks... A, it plays a lot like Dragalia. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. You pick a weapon you like, you play with that weapon, you use a skill with that weapon, and you have iframes through certain attacks. And it's a dungeon crawler. So maybe a little more in depth in that aspect than Dragalia. Uh, it's by a level 5. You know, uh, Professor Lighten people. Anyway, enough goofing about here. Game got mad at me. Oh, right, this is the demo. Want feather, thank you. I say no to your level. Oh, the game said yes to this level. Uh, a problem has occurred. A problem has occurred. A citizen has died in Lego City. 
Problems are arising because I'm being impatient. Increasingly impatient. <laughs> a plus maneuver. Only a real man would do that maneuver. Okay. So, noted, they probably wanted me to have Yoshi. Oh, dude, that's like, that's a meme that I like, listen, like I was not, I don't want to say that I wasn't a child when that meme was about. But, like, that meme was about when I... I want to say when I was in my mid-teens. Of them trying to advertise Lego City. And, like, Lego was starting to branch out into more than just, you know, building blocks. In a sense. If that makes sense. More or less, yeah, it more or less depends upon how it plays, because, like, I'll, I'll give it to you bluntly. I, I mean, I'll say it bluntly. I'm at an age and at a financial level right now where, like, if I see a game I like enough, I can just kind of go and jump on it and try it out. If it resembles something I like a lot, I'll probably spend more on it than not. Like, I've given this example before. I was hella hesitant to get into Monster Hunter. I've been kind of pestered off and on by people for, I want to say, five years. Ever since Monster Hunter uh, 3, or Try, or whatever it was called, made its way to the Wii U, I was getting pestered on and off by people to say, hey, play Monster Hunter. You might like it. You might enjoy it. Intimidate is all hell. I waited until a sale to get a Monster Hunter game. Turns out I love the game. But this game, it's already something I like. The phone game Dragalia, effectively. And worst case scenario, it's a beat-em-up. I'm a sucker for beat-em-ups. I'll spend near full price for a beat-em-up, even one I don't spe uh, specifically know that well. All right. Kevin Costner's Waterworld. Just bop him. I gave my Yoshi back because I feel naked. Never mind. Oops. But that's the other thing is that I don't... I haven't played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon like at all. So like everybody who's freaking out over Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX or XD... XD 2069, lol, 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 whatever it is, there's the water level. Okay, give me the hammers. You're, you're banned from hammers. Oh god, I'm banned from living, apparently. Ugh. Like I should say, I... I've tried it out. Like, it was a game... People... Friends have said, Oh, hey, you, uh, this game is neat. You, this game is neat. It's... It's, uh, predecessors are, like, some of the more... More positively... Or... Some of the more recommended games Nintendo has ever made. And at least the Pokemon companies ever made outside of the main series of Pokemon. Don't touch! So, I mean, I do have Super Pokemon 
Super po or Super Mystery Dungeon, Super Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, whatever that game is for the 3DS, I have it. I played like an hour of it, and then I never picked it back up. So dungeon crawling kind of has, it's kind of a double-edged sword and wow, I'm downing everything. So Mystery Dungeon series is kind of a double-edged sword where, where or the, the dungeon crawler has a, is a double-edged sword in the sense of that, is in that, um, oh God. Can I hit this right? Nope, I can't. Listen, I got all these lives for a reason. I'm going to spend them. Um, what was this saying? Oh yeah, dungeon crawler is kind of a dip. It's kind of it's kind of loose definition, I think, even nowadays. Cause like, even people will say, "Oh, Binding of Isaac, that's a dungeon crawler." You're not wrong. You're not right, but you're not wrong. Cause there is definitely a dungeon you crawl through. Does it go all the way down? Okay, it does. Good. Good. Suffer. Suffer fish. Suffer other fish. Come to the land where I roam. Hey, look, I got my Yoshi back. Gotta smell the pond this day and give me a second chance. And there it goes. What if I touch the fishy? Can I touch the- I'm going to- I'm a touch in the fishy. Did you notice that I touched the fishy? It's just a very lewd way to touch the fishy. You ever just tongue a f Scooter, think that, think that sentence over in your head before you continue saying it. You might. You might, Nera. I am kind of stupid. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of stupid. I did it! I'm a genius! I am... Even! <laughs> Wait, what? All three brain cells ready for takeoff. I'm gonna need you, uh, Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. I need you to not lose that. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Assistance, por favor. As I proceed to almost run face first into a wiggler. I am... This is why I don't play a lot of Mario Maker. My reaction timing is flawless. So if I know I can do that, and that, and that. Don't. 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 Hi, Silver Star. Also, who hurt you? Is it me? I'm sorry. 
I'll see myself out. I'm amazing at Morrow. I feel like that's how it is some days with me when it comes to myself, like, yeah, I've been in a bit, I've been in a... Duck is a function you have, Scooter. Ha! Froze up. But yeah, like I said, uh, I'm in a bit of a funk right now, but like... When you get me on the right day, my three brain cells kick off and it's just like, and it's just like oh boy, here I go! Uh, words, we're having them today. I wish to leave the vicinity. Please leave immediately. <laughs> yeah, hammer, 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 hammer. Hello. Kick the fishy. Ooh, barbecued fishy. Oof. Peach her okay. You know what? Considering the mute the mutual in question, Silver Star, that's fair. When I say mutual in question, I mean same person, not same computer AI. You know what you know what I'm getting at. I really hope you do anyway. It's gonna be awkward if I'm the only one that understands my j the joke. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Oh, Soka! <laughs> eh, problems. Yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, we're off to a rousing start this time around. Good thing I have those 40 lives that I can still burn through. Literally, if I keep touching the fire. Okay, but I'm gonna touch the fire. Boing. Spring, spring. You know, Slim's gotten a, Slim's gotten a better mic since that since that since he made that video. I wonder if he's ever uh, pondered doing recording it again, just with a better microphone. Yeah. Oh, you cannot burn fire. Haha. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I've always, I've, I've occasionally wondered if he's tried re-recording that song, but with a better microphone, because I know he's got one now. I, di I don't ask him because he's a busy, he's a, he's a very, very busy man with very busy, important adult things. Spec. <laughs> My spec. How's it going, Odin? You're witnessing me playing a game I have I don't think I've ever touched in like 20 years and failing miserably at the special levels because I am losing I am being incredibly less patient. I would like to know I would like to everybody to note that I had 40 lives when I came into this level. 4-0, not 14. I require assistance. I have issues. 
I have issue 1 through 37 in Nintendo Power. I need the, I need the other 137, please. All right, running jump. All right, we're gonna bowl the China shop this one. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? That was the noise of, of, of brain cell number three taking a nap because he's had enough for the day. <laughs> Ugh. Not enough. Haha. Uh, problem. Need that. Two bull bills. Okay. Back almost to where I keep dying because I have a lack of patience issue. Well, I'm having patience issues, not a lack of patience. Okay. I have plenty of time. There. Fire was still on the ground. I refuse to go back and get Yoshi. This has now become a matter of pride. <laughs> oh god. The world said hi. You don't know, Nera. This is like Principal Saiyan's level of pride right now. Sh sh shuffleboard! I'm amazing. That totally wasn't p luck and or instinct. I even get to keep the spring! Okay, I deserve that one. <laughs> okay. Fire. Talk this out. A proposition. Let me be. Proposition accepted, I see. Okay. We're going to be smart about this one. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Fireballs, yum. I'm home free, baby! I'm not! <laughs> uh, no checkpoint, by the way. So here we go again. Very home free, by the way. Okay, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna go look quiet here. I gotta put on my gamer pants. Gamer pants online. We 
We take that hit to skip the section that keeps killing me to get a Yoshi. Uh, the Wiggler despawned. Okay, that's nothing special. I, th I figured a different color pipe would mean there was something. Huh? Okay, really? I don't know why it took so long to re-scroll the screen. I was sitting there hitting L for that entire time I stopped moving, I was hitting I was hitting uh left bumper to try and scroll the screen over. Shoot. No, this is my Yoshi. My war pony! <laughs> A reminder, I started this level with 40 lives. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you just a bundle of happiness? Alright. I forgot about that little thing. You know, I could, and I will. Oh. There we go. I remember that. <laughs> that was a maneuver. Uh, problems are rising. Uh, Starman? Gone. Like my hope. So hey, I remember that. That, uh, green apples... Green apples give time. Hey look, a blue Koopa. Too much stuff on screen, couldn't spawn it. Just take a leisurely fly. No. Hold on, let me just... And away I go! Away I stop! See, Mr. T Mr. Mirror Tomato says I'm a good player. I broke it. And now onto your regularly scheduled programming. Oh, okay. Now onto your boo boo baby easy Mario world. Sure, why not? We'll get the fire flower to preserve the cape. Oh, there will be something completely different at some point. Well, actually, several somethings. Yoshi, eat this. Thank you.
we just won't see it for a little bit. Oh, there goes the Yoshi. I have no one to blame but you. You did this. You're in cahoots with the game, I know it. So that's a shortcut. And now back to this place. Mm, not yet. Not happening yet. Still not happening yet. Oh. Hubris, what have you done? This, you may not like it, but this is what Optimal Mario World looks like. I was somehow spinning and holding the shell. <laughs> On accident, might I add. And this is why Taskbot never plays all, never does all eggs. It's Mario World, because it would just do, it would do like this in a in a level like this, where we just spin around, do these noises constantly. What's wrong? You don't like this noise? Uh-oh. <laughs> now, would you believe if I told you I'm doing that with one hand? With one button, not two? Well, it may very well, because I'm going to go do the normal... I don't even remember how to do normal exit for Donut Secret Ghost House, but I'm going to go do it now just so I can kind of clear up all the levels. Well, that wasn't it, but okay, that's fine. Later, nerd! Clear off one coin there. Actually, I didn't even need to do that, did I? I almost got screwed out of the exit because of a stupid boo. Bonus game. Eh, whatever. It's two one ups. I don't want them. Oh, you can't. You can't hit those. Noted.
Hey, look what happened. Oh no, everything is topsy-turvy and wacky, wacky spacky. Sure, we'll go with that word. Insert Hoovy, how could this happen? Okay. Oh, that's right. That was to get another star running run going. did was give you a shortcut to the level after the ghost house, which doesn't matter because I'm going back the normal way anyway. Not really going for an all exits thing, I'm just kind of going for an access to all levels kind of run for now. Speaking of access to all levels, yeet! And I yeet myself into the stratosphere. I didn't know you could hit that wall. Oh. Didn't I know that ghost could touch you? Well then, I'm not going to chance anything. I'm just going to... Yeah. Oh no! I found the top secret area! But did you guys know? There's a secret in the top secret area that leads you to a secret power-up that's the laser suit. There's not. There, there, there's literally not. No, it was some kind of weird claim that somebody tried to boast years ago. There we go. It was like some some claim somebody was trying to boast many moons ago. Oh, what was the point of that? Oh, I know what the point of that was. Or maybe I don't. Well, I forgot how to do this one now. Oh. Huh. Well, what do you know? There it is. Ghost house are jerks. That's the kind of rumor that's spotted from the same place where people had were like, hey, or were like, did you know you can unlock Sonic and Super Smash Bros. Melee? You just have to beat, you just have to kill a hundred enemies on Cruel Melee. Or was it ten? 
I forget. Something's a little screwy. Like my brain. My Brian. My Brian's screwy. He's fine. There's floor down there. Don't, don't let anybody tell you different. There's floor down there. He'll land perfectly fine. Ugh. I thought I thought it would always be a circle if you used your cape on those blocks. I guess I've learned today. Well, lesson learned. There are no more lessons to learn. The 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 uh, what you call it. Doctor? I mean, I just gotta convey a very specific part of the song. No. Amazing invigigrams. You won't get this kind of top level play from any other player, ever. No, I guess it doesn't even fit in my head when I hear it back. This might be a new issue, Nera. I hate to say it. This might be something. This might be a problem you got. <laughs> the brain is a little broke. Oh. Just because of mutual things, Nera. I, uh. Mutual connections, we'll say, and people we follow. Um, apparently, f apparently, f uh, fighter see the fighter season three patch just went live like an hour before I started streaming. And I'm a little shook at by what that means for some characters in that game now. I mean, I I'm eat, I'm eating, I'm still eating in that game because you know. Die-hard Krillin player. So I get rocks. Rocks that that can go that can stop Super Dash. But I'm still. But I am currently worried about the state of assists in that game. Yeah. Yeah, Frieza got kind of buffed. And by kind, I mean a lot buffed. As in... As in sparking... 
sparking stops the timer, uh, stops the depletion, depletion timer. Blah, blah, blah. Sparking stops the depletion time on Golden for Frieza. I'm smart. Just hit him with the... Alright. Later, Blazing. Thanks for stopping by tonight. In this weird situation of my brain space going on. Meh. Him, de him dead. Hit him with the... Oh, hello, monkeys! That was not even close to my normal Frieza voice. Not even close to Chris Ayers. I've disgraced the I've disgraced him and his and his voice work. I will now go commit Sudoku. Hooray for pepperonis. <sighs> I think that's like the, I think that is like the only thing uh, right now. Moving away from home, my parents and whatnot. I think that's oddly enough like the one thing I miss right now, and I could, and I could very easily solve it if I actually, you know, if I actually, you know, went to visit my parents or. Got myself financially stable enough to have a dog, but I miss I miss Pupper. I miss having Pupper. Yeah, my parents live about eh, 30, 20, 30 minutes away from me right now, so I could very easily just like, you know, pick my, pick, you know, get in my car, go drive out to their house and go, oh, hi, it's me. And then use that as an excuse to see the, see the dogs. But I don't, I don't, because I think I've told the story before, but like, I moved away from my parents a while ago because I kind of got, there's a lot of, there's some stuff going on with my dad that kind of made him not a joy to be around and he is kind of scaring away everybody, scaring everybody away in his life. Uh, secret exit is that way. I mean, being fr I mean, uh, poodles, standard poodles, but they're, they kind of, they're kind of, uh, body pattern wise, they're kind of, they're spotted kind of like a, uh, like a hound dog would be, so to say. So they're referred to as party poodles. We initially got poodles growing up because I was allergic to, I was definitely allergic to dogs. And then I kind of grew out of my my allergies to dogs. So I no longer am allergic to dogs, as far as I know. If I am, it's like a very minute amount. 
but my mother has now become incredibly allergic to any any dog any like any animal so she has to have poodles because poodles for those who don't know actually grow they don't grow fur they grow hair like actual human hair so it doesn't leave dander everywhere it doesn't leave dander everywhere and all the like, but the trade-off for that is you do have to give them haircuts. Instead of like all the dogs that just shed their excess hair. M multi multi poodle? Mul I I why do I know that that half of the name? Here, I think that's some I think I got some pictures of them I can upload to a... No, I know what I can do. Give me a minute here. Do, 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 do. That's why Maltese. I was like, wait, I know that. I know that. Brain. Okay. So let me do this. I have a way where I can show you the dogs that are in my life at the moment. Uh, you. Oh, I can upload multiple. Bitch. You. Keep in mind, these are older pictures because I haven't been home for a while, so I'm kind of scrolling through every picture I've taken. I need to take this picture for posterity's sake. I need to pull up this picture for posterity's sake. Oh, no. Let's get that picture. Dun, dun, dun. And there's that. All right. Oh, okay, good. We're good. Okay, this may take a minute. I have to go through my pictures again. <laughs> Shoot. Too fast. I'm getting dog photos, so this is worth it. You, 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 send. I tried to send too many of these pictures at once, so that's the issue I had. Getting puppy pictures. You. And that Bubby. Let's hope I don't do too many. This is very important stuff. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Worry about the fact that I am scrolling through too many pictures of dogs and photos I've taken of games. Or phone games, rather. I should delete some of these, considering I don't play one of the games I'm scrolling through the past pictures of.
Oi. It'll be hashtag worth. They'll be they'll be popper pictures. Picture of you. I need pictures of the current dogs. Why is this so much of an issue? Oh. You and where is the boy? I'm still here, game. Don't give me guff. Let's get a picture of the two of them together. All right. <sighs> so I've sent them all to my phone. Or I've sent them all to a Discord server I share with myself and myself alone. I have no idea where this is going to open. Okay. Okay, I got them all. So let's start from the beginning with an incredibly blurry photo. Also, uh, hashtag throwback Tuesday, I guess. So this is a really old photo of me that I failed at getting in focus, but it is also an old photo of me. You're gonna see a picture of a very young scooter, like 10, 11, with a picture of his first dog. Where is stream? There it is. So that is... That is Scooter about somewhere between 10 and 12 years old. With... His first dog. Mama Jelly with the, uh, with the 23 month subscription. Thank you. But yeah. With my first dog named Bucky. Hi, Parf. He got spoiled rotten. He that dog got spoiled rotten and was an asshole for 10 years. And then and like I'm talking like angry asshole. Like if he didn't want to, you to be even in the same room with you as you, he would go like borderline rabid dog. And then one day he ran, he ran away somewhere and wouldn't come back when I said, and I just, by the way, uh, language warning, because I'm going to quote myself verbatim. He, he ran away some, he ran away somewhere. I could see him, but he would not come near me. And I said, you know what? Fuck you, dog. This is, I was saying this really loud too. Like I was screaming this. Fuck you, dog. You can fucking die out here for all I care. And I went inside. And from that day forward, that dog was the sweetest dog I've ever had. Which is sad because he was such a sweet dog, and then he got to be old, and then he had developed diabetes because he kept because my dad kept fed him peanut butter cups, Reese's peanut butter cups. Yes, the things you should not be feeling feeding dogs. So the dog developed di di diabetes and massive cysts, and everything just kind of became a car crash that he uh, passed away. This was a long time ago, but this was I want to say it's about ten years ago he passed. So the other dog, uh, this is an older picture of her, but she was, we got her, we got this, we got this, by the way, these were toy poodles. We got her about the same time. We got this dog about the same time that we got Bucky. Her name is Molly. 
And this is, I want to say she was about 15 in this picture. Maybe 16. So yeah, this is, this is Molly. She, she was, <laughs> she was one, one of my, she was one of my, uh, also just so the game doesn't freak out on me. Um, she was the nicest dog I think I've ever had. Like she got older, she got competitive for food, but beyond that, she was real. she was an extremely nice dog. No, like she's the kind of dog where like you come home and she runs up to you and she tries to like, she, 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 and well, she's old in this picture, so she couldn't really get up on her hind legs very well. But like she would do everything she could to get your attention to come down to her because she liked, she was a fan of, you know, licking and kisses. Problem. She also ate her own poop. Anyway, but this one, but when she passed, it was really hard. It was really hard because I was, she passed at like 17. She was almost 18 years old. By the way, just to note, most poodles live to be about 15 on average. So when she passed, it was six o'clock in the morning on a work day and she was having issues breathing and when it was her time to go she did not go quietly she screamed and howled and just kind of carried on because she was in pain and just it was a painful half an hour and then it went silent because we thought she passed and then about 10 seconds later, she kicked back up and started howling and shouting again like, like she was still fighting. And then after a few more minutes of that, it finally passed. So she lived a full life. She was a good dog. She just died of old age. But the dog I mentioned earlier, Bucky and her, my parents bred them together so we could have the puppies. So, she, so they would have litters of puppies to sell to people. And the last litter, the last puppy that was born from the last litter they decided to let those dogs have was my boy. This is my, this is my, this is my dog, Duke. And I want to say he was about... Five to seven when this picture was taken. He was my little buddy. Like I'm talking... Like I'm talking he would be... I would come in the door and he would... He would run up to me. He would get on his, it didn't matter how, no matter how old he got, he could let, get on to me, hind legs, up on me, trying to claw me down. Whenever I sat down, he was in my lap instantly. This was my dog. He loved me to no end. He died before the mother. Because due to complications that left, that for reasons that I left home. But... Uh, Oh, Misha, that's a good name. Uh, dad's complications. He would always let the dogs out, and then he would leave to go. He would then leave to go get something he needed from the store. The dog did not have situational awareness of cars, and after three to four months, of my mom telling him stop letting the dogs out and then leaving, something's gonna happen. It happened. He died at like 11 years old, getting run over by my dad. I was devastated that day.
like, we went, like, we went to go, like, he was, he was done on the spot. There was no saving him. He was done at, at, on the spot. And, like, I went out to see him, and I just, I just went down the driveway. Just didn't care. I wasn't, I didn't care. Went down the driveway. I was a bawling mess for about 10 minutes, because that was my dog. Still tearing up a little bit now, right now, actually. Uh, and this one, this is this is another good boy. This is Reggie. He was a very good. He was a very good dog. He was not as lovey-dovey as the other dogs, but he he started off a trend that the that the current dogs and parents have do. Where well, I should back up. We bought him as a puppy. We bought the we bought Reggie here as a puppy. He was a little bigger than a toy poodle. But he did the same thing Duke did where he got up on his hind legs and tried to pull you down. And he jump up he jumped up in everybody's lap and all that jazz. I wanna say in this picture he was about eleven. And he died of an issue that a lot of dogs have, where his stomach just turned over. And that's just that's just something you don't get back from. If you don't catch it within an hour, if a, if a dog's stomach turns over, if you don't catch it within an hour and get to a vet immediately, they're pretty much done. So he just died from that. They put, We had to put him down about two years ago now, I think. But that was the one that devastated my mom. Actually devastated both my parents. Because this was my this this dog was my mother's Christmas present back in like 2004. This was my mother's Christmas present and her biggest wish throughout her life was I want a white poodle. That was what she wanted the most out of life. But it also devastated my dad because Despite being a gift to my mom and how much my mom babied him, he followed my dad everywhere. <laughs> my dad does construction stuff and so self-improvement stuff around the house, so he followed my dad everywhere. And he always had this game, he always loved to chase the ball. Like, he was magnetized to tennis balls. If he was too tired to chase the ball, he would still have the ball in his mouth. And stand in front of you like he wanted you to throw it, but he would not let go of it. But, yeah, he was... He was another good dog. Very good dog. Again, it was just a mental condition you can't help. And he passed away because of it. And these two goons are standard-sized party poodles. <laughs> they stand about... Well, I know I'm sitting down, so I can't give a proper estimate estimation. I want to say they, they like on all fours, they stand about three, three and a half feet tall. So I'm going to grab myself and I'm going to do this weird thing. So this one right here, this is Houdini. We adopted him when he was like two. And this guy, he's tall enough. Like for me, somebody who's six foot two, he's tall enough where he can get his hand. Like if he stands his high legs, he can get his hands over my shoulders and start pulling me down. This guy loves me. I don't come around very often, but when he, but when he knows I'm there, he come, he pull, tries to pull my ass down. And he is not shy at all. This one is Riley. We, she was a puppy mill breeder. She was like the one of the breeder dogs at a puppy mill. But we ended up adopting her when she was six, I want to say. So I'm going to say in this picture, she's like six and a half. He's two and a half. She is the most timid dog. 
like like most people you know they kind of have like a quick reaction when they hear a loud noise but when but when happens she is gone across the other end of the house as far away as she can get away from the noise that was just made kind of timid we assume she was beaten a little bit when she before we adopted her that kind of stuff but they're both still alive and well and they are both just the sweetest dogs they have both picked up they have both picked up the habit of when you stop when you are paying them and you stop paying them they'll reach their paw up and they'll slap at your leg and go hey you're not done it doesn't matter how long you pet them they will paw at you to say hey keep petting i wasn't done with you yet anyway and that is the history of scooter with dogs I hope you enjoyed this this I hope you enjoyed this there'll be a quiz next stream and no if if you guys if nobody gets a, a 10 out of 10 I am I will ban you all from from any future streams that occur <laughs> could you imagine the audacity? Could you imagine the audacity of if you do not remember everything I just told you about my dogs, I will fail you out of out of being able to watch my streams. Oh, well, it's going downhill fast. Don't worry. I was a beast doing it. Okay, I was low A high B. Because I didn't try half the time. Oh, well, lucky me. Uh, that was an interaction. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Kiza. I just, yeah, I had to make sure I had the right name. I just spent the last five, like, half an hour talking about my dogs. Also, I want to pull this picture up. Also, just to uh, talk matter-of-factly about something. So, um, I'm thinking, I put this out on Twitter, but I'm thinking, like, this month, or, excuse me, at the end of this month, I'm thinking like like win or lose. I think I'm actually going to be done attempting my diet now. Oh my, I'm hearing puppy stories. I may have to read these. Oh, I got to find the picture now. I have a picture. That's the one. But yeah, I've gone on about it before. Good lord, you all have big stories. Let me read these. Misha was a shelter dog and we had as well uh, and as well had been abused by the owners. Finally gave them up when they took it. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. But you know what the awesome thing about that raven is? With enough love, with enough love and like helping them sort out with their own mental issues, any dog will kind of come out of their shell and act normal. Like the one I sh uh, the one I showed you, uh, Riley. She's got she still freaks out at loud noises, but she's not as timid. Like nowhere near as timid. And she's uh, like after like a ye uh, like a year and a half of us care of the family caring for her, she started acting like a puppy again. She started playing and all this stuff and. Getting a little rowdy with everybody, which is surprises me now, considering like I I left home shortly after they adopted her. Aussies, white German Shepherd, you put, yeah. Uh, Pup she was caring for. Bobo was well, put her down due to health issues. After Bobo, he was low. Uh, yep, that'll happen a lot. Oh wow. That's, wow, a 10-year get. Okay, yeah. Heartache is an issue. Oh, 
Oh, got some poppies. Okay, so back in what I was saying. So, um, I also picked out the most uh, degenerate picture of myself I could for this. So, this is probably when I was close to my heaviest. But, That's good. So yeah, I'm thinking like at the end of this week, you know, regardless of what I do, like regardless of what I do diet-wise, I think my diet's going to be ending this week because I've, I've been stuck at the same weight, not for lack of trying, I should say, but I've been stuck around the same weight range for the past two to three months. I haven't lost any weight, really. I also haven't gained any weight. So I'm going to like be stopping like hard focusing on my diet like at the end of this week here. But I want you to look at something here. Do I, I have the same goddamn sweater on. Help. Let's do this. Not the same shirt. I think I threw that shirt away, actually. So, hey. This is Scooter back when he was at his heaviest. Hopefully I can get back enough. This is the same sweater. So, I mean, I think you can kind of, with that humiliating picture in tow, I think you can kind of see the efforts of my, uh, of the fruits of my efforts. So, I think after this week, I'm probably going to be done. And I'm probably also going to do my whole, here's how I dieted video that I plan to do and all that jazz. I came across this while looking for the picture of the dogs and I figured I could talk about this for like half a minute here quick. I just want you to know that if my, if... My fat ass, literal fat ass, if my literal fat ass can work at a, to a point where I can get down to where I am now, you guys can. Like, everybody, everybody can. Don't tell yourself no, you just gotta push. Freaking. You know what? Okay, here, let me put... Let's put it this way. I want to say in this picture, I was bordering 400 pounds, if not more. And I was wearing size 48 pants below my waist. I'm talking like that. I'm talking like hips. I was wearing my pants, you know, where people, where people sag their pants nowadays. I was wearing 48s sagging. I'm now wearing... Let's see, these are size 36 pants, and they are all the way up on me, where they should be. <laughs> so, 12 pants sizes, or I guess 6 pants sizes, however you view it. Down 12 measurement units, and I'm wearing them higher up than normal. Also, yes, I made sure to pick the most degrading picture I ever took of myself. Let's get back to the game for a bit. Anyway, all right. Uh, Yorkshire. Okay, I had a friend who had Yorkshire. They're adorable. Had no, I had no idea how when we got her, but she was more chill than most of the other dogs. She does get excited with new peeps, though. Wasn't well trained. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's the other thing, though. And uh, this is mildly depressing, but I guess it's also kind of reassuring, is that outside of Bucky, the first dog that I mentioned, we've, uh, we've buried all of our dogs in the backyard. So, Molly, Duke, and Reggie are all... They're all buried, you know, a good, a good amount of distance underground, underground in the backyard in little handmade coffins for them.
So, anyway. Whew. That was... Wow, that was a... That was quite the walk down memory lane. Holy cow. I did take some pictures of some of myself of myself when I was younger that I could probably use for like just hanging out and chatting. So I've got I've got ammunition if you guys just wanna when I get tired of Super Mario World. I think I might get up to Castle 3 tonight and just kinda call it there and see how I feel. Maybe maybe we will just chat for a while. But I got some older pictures of myself that I can just talk about stuff. I could also probably maybe pay attention more to the, to the game and maybe swim properly. That's a possibility. Holy hell. Assistance, por favor. Oh, shoot. I was reading chat. You did this, Mama Jelly. You did this. Oh god. No, like, the pictures I've got, like... The pictures I've got are me... Circa... What time? 2005? 2004, 2005? Yeah. Like, I took, like... I've got them physically. I got them physically as well if I ever want to pull them up. No, hell, I even got some from like 2000, uh, from like 2000 and 99. I got many old pictures of myself. Holy cow, I just remembered. And the pads converge. And then I proceed to swim up into the into the death instead of away from it. Just go into your husks. Let me li let me live. Hi shade. Hit. I'm amazing. Can't stop me. Um Sorry, I know it's disgusting. Uh. Okay. I'll return and do that at another point, because I think Butter Bridge is like something else entirely I can do. Actually, I just had a save point. You know, I might do that actually. What time is it? It's about 9 30. Okay. I'll leave this on for... I'll leave this running in the background. Let's go post some more self-incriminating evidence. I don't know how far back I must go for this, so you have to give me a minute. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. I just, I, cause I just said I, cause I had this picture. I feel like I'm now obligated to show off this picture I have of myself from when I was way young lad. Not down there. Where is the self-incriminating evidence? Cause I know I have it. Ok, 
Gotta be somewhere around some some of my con pics and my pictures of my friends getting married. Can I do these two? Dang, I can't do both of these. All right, let's do that one. Okay, they got back to it right away. All right, let's do two. Why not? We'll do two care two photos. No. But I do have pictures of me and my friends from various times. So, let's go back in time again. Let's go back in time to when Scooter was in, to when Scooter was in junior high. Oh, no, you can use this. I, I just haven't posted these on Twitter. I, at some point when I start getting on the throwback Thursday trend, I'm, I plan to put these up on Twitter. So, oh, uh, let's see. Back in what, what would this be? I think this was 2000. Yeah, this is right around 2000, right? Right shortly after the uh, Y2K scare. So, Scooter, being a band, being a band geek, had the a band and choir geek, had the opportunity to go to Disney World for, through through the school's music program. So, he went, and so did three of his friends who were also in band at the time. All right, find Scooter. <laughs> so, yep, you found me. So, this is, so this is my, uh, this is my, He's still a good friend, but he. But when we were in school, this is my best friend. This is my best friend, Mitch. Uh, he is currently he currently is balding with hair shorter than mine, with three kids. <laughs> uh, here's my other friend Nick, who is also a trombone player. He's just he's just living with a with a friend he met online playing games, and here's Brad. Who just got married in the last year or so and just got. Well. Mitch. Like Mitchell. Uh, Brad, he just. He's having a kid at the. Uh, like towards the end of this year, I believe. But he's been married for a little bit. So this is me at. This is me at Disney World. This trip, I got hella sunburned because. Being a dumb kid, I was like, "Oh, I don't need to wear sunscreen. I'm young, and I and I can just go out and and what I want." Worst decision of my life. So I'm gonna take my headphones off just to show this. So. As you can see, I have a fantastic bowl cut, but my, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so we went out, you know, we did the thing you do while you're out in Florida in Disney World. You go on a beach, didn't put on sunscreen. We got back from the beach. My neck was red, was red. My ears were red and forming blisters. My arms were red. <laughs> like, I think I was pretty much, I think I was pretty much like second degree burns. I stayed out in the sun so long without sunscreen. Like an idiot.
do you know how much that freaking hurts? Like, do you understand how much that hurts when your skin is so red that doing this is like getting punched in the face? Doing this is equivalent to literally ro rolling over a bed of nails. Anyway. So let's... Let's see, I'm gonna go look up this other picture here, because I already got my 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 other picture of black blackmail here, but let's go see. Ah, I see, Mama Jelly, you uh I see you were a fan of uh Oh god, I can never remember the the mentor's name. I can never remember that guy's name. I'm just not looking at the pictures you've gotten here of your puppies. Honestly. Okay, Freddy's a cutie. I shouldn't play favorites, but I think I think Katia is probably my favorite out of the pictures you've you posted. Well, I mean, Nera I've... Shut me up if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure you're of a darker skin tone complexion, we'll say. Putting it as lightly as I possibly can. I don't know if that's a possibility. I don't know. I'm not that complexion. <laughs> Wunderba. Yeah, I don't think it's... I, I don't know if it's a, it's an impossibility, but... Again, for obvious reasons, as you can see right here, by the palm of this hand and the and the color of this face, I don't know if it is a pos... if that's a thing or not. Um... So here's... Incredibly fuzzy, but... Here's another picture of Scooter from... Here's another picture of Scooter. I will preface this with a few things. One, this is 2005. Peak Rebellion. Two, this was what this was when Punk was back in style big time. Three, this is this is also when having long hair for guys was also was back in style. All right. So have I prefaced? So have I warned you enough about this? This little Yamato canon of self de de uh, depravity. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I should say. The self incriminating uh, I'm about to give you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here is. 18-year-old Scooter singing for his effective senior final for choir. Oh god, don't do that. Like I said, it's blurry as all hell. I want you to soak that one in. I want you to bring that one in. I want you to experience all, all this right here. This was me at 18 thinking this was a good idea. By the way, I don't think you can see it, but I've got like a little that shaggy from Scooby-Doo goatee going on too. No full beard, just the little, just the little that going on. <laughs> Uh. 
All right, and here's where I take it and put a positive spin on that. Here's where I put the positive spin on a lot. You ready for this? That picture I just had up, that was my senior in high school when I was at my most physically fit. Eh. I am currently my most physically fit I've been in my entire life. I think I was about 285 in that picture I showed you there. I'm currently 240. <laughs> Anyway, moving along. Now let's get real exit. I'm close. Oh gosh. I'm close to what I... Dang it! So I'm close to what I was at, you know... What the world would say is, you know, your, uh, your quote unquote peak. Wait. Okay, it's a fire flower. So I'm close to it, but like I'm better than what it was as well. All right, this bit. Anyway, there is... I thought there were secret wings up there. Oh well. I'm pretty sure this is layer 2 shenanigans over here, right? Nope, I'm thinking of a later cave level. Okay, don't even try it. I have no idea why I thought I was sliding. Sliding. Oh. So I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane with me. I do have a couple more pictures I can dig out of the woodworks at some point. But I think that's enough of a trip down memory lane for tonight. Plus, you know... As everybody will be elated to know, and I will, all, I'm also using this as a shameless plug to the channel. To it, I do have a stream archive channel where all streams are archived. So if you miss, so if you want to dig that back up, they will be, it will be available on a yacht hub at some at some point. Also, also, it is going to get archived on Twitch because I do highlight every stream. Yeah, blackmail. Like, that's the thing. I do not... I'm not gonna sit here and go, Don't use this against me. Don't ever do it. Cause that's my past, man. That's me in the past. <laughs> use it. Abuse me. Use me. Make me regret do doing all these things. Oh, God. Right, jumping on these incredibly high slopes is terrible. Okay, we don't do that. We actually come over here with this. Go down. Yeah. Piss off. Cause I need to get the red switch. All right, this one. I died in the Switch Palace. Uh, before I came in here, I completed the, uh, before I went through the rest of this game, I completed the, uh, special world. Oh, right. That's how this works. Shoot. I died in the Switch Palace again. I completed all of the special world levels. And in doing so, when you take that warp star out of there, the way that they intend for you to do, 
it changes almost everything about this game. Come back this way. Listen, I didn't lose any lives. You can't prove that I died in a Switch Palace now. God, that red is so much more vivid than I remember it. Holy cow. <laughs> you can. You can prove it. That's the thing. You can prove it. But I raise you this. Will you go through the effort? I hit everyone but the power of box. I don't know. Do I? I can't see where I'm looking right now because I'm trying to do this intimidating face. <laughs> that was scary. I actually went through that last little bit there blind, effectively. <laughs> Cape. Double flower it is. Well, that's a problem. That's incre that's an increasing problem. I'm leaving now. Man, oops you right away. This is my ride. I missed my ride. I found my ride. Hold on. Who needs the platform when you have eerie jumping? Oh no, I need a ride. <laughs> also, I think one of these blocks in this mess has a power up. I'm not gonna mess around with it. Worth it. these things that for some reason you can jump off of and jump right over listen I may be stupid listen I may be stupid What do you mean, but? Oh, 
there, there's supposed to be a butt to that statement? There's, there, I'm confused. What, what's the problem? What's the what's the Ossifer problem? <laughs> Listen, if you watch anime, if you watch enough large, uh, if you watch enough bigger name anime, I'll say, you, you'll know when I say it, but I'm straight up in Nosuke in this bitch. I can't do that incredible flex he can, but I'm straight up in Nosuke. Hell yeah, worth it. Moving on. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, hey, look, this is how we leave. And we leave. Oh. Ha! I've tricked you, you fool! That boosts my interact that boosts my interactivity rate and in inter er, viewer interaction rate on Twitch. Now that I have a clip, Twitch will see that I have people clipping my stuff. You fool! Shit, I just dribbled water. <laughs> So here's the other thing. I want to go back to one of those pictures I showed you before. Oh god, you have one of those you have one of those Eevees, Shade? The gross Eevee. Ugh, I forgot that, that thing existed. Also, I will say, I am... I am jealousy people that can that can have cats. I think I've said it before, but I am deathly allergic to cats. Like, if I spend any more than, like, 20 minutes in a room with a cat, I'm, I'm asking to have an asthma attack. It looks like... It looks like they are they you have a you have a treat and they're trying to take it from you. That's what that picture looks like. It's cute, but it looks like it. Okay, so I was gonna go back and do this. Um It's ma it's mainly the fur. I think it's mainly the fur, because it's mainly the cat's dander.
<laughs> I'm gonna have to share that clip. Hopefully I remember. Unless... How far did you go with the shade? How far? Okay, no, it was somebody else. So yeah, it's just the cat. I don't- I haven't ever- I haven't ever seen a hairless cat, personally. So I don't know if I would be okay around hairless cats. So, I- that would be something in the future, but like... I have been around cats, and I've petted cats, and I've actually been able to- As- I think the thing with me and cats is... If I'm doing physical activity, something that increases my heart rate or increases the rate at which I, you know, inhale and exhale, that causes the most problems the quickest. I've been in my brother, when he was still living in an apartment, I've been in my brother's apartment when he had, when he had a cat and I was able to just sit there with the cat. I was able to sit there. The cat was on my lap. I was able to sit there with just a little bit of difficulty of breathing, but I was able to sit there for two hours not much more than like having slight issues breathing. We're talking about like a this it wasn't a chonk, but it was a big cat. Like 20 pounds of cat, but not fat. <laughs> it was a big cat. I want to say, um, back in, I want to say back in 2000, 2001, the hairless cat, back in 2000, 2001, when I think the peak of my cat allergy was happening, I, the same, the same person earlier, Mitch, I went over to his house, for, he had a big sleepover with all of our friends that were into band choir you know we had a huge group of us that basically we all got together so we all got together at his house he had two cats i attempted because he was my best friend and because i'm an idiot i attempted to stay there through the night despite my cat allergies I ended up having to be rushed back home at about 11 o'clock at night. Breathing like this. Because I couldn't get air into my lungs. We're talking the, the breaths of air that you're taking. Like the breaths of air that you guys are taking. Imagine like a tenth of that. Oh, and that Basically, if my stubbornness to be with one of my friends, if they did, if my stubbornness had won out over my friend's telling me that I should go because I I literally cannot breathe if that if their parents had like won out the argument to take me back home good chance I'd be dead right now yeah, maybe um anyway so I'm going to give you some additional blackmail so you guys can have fun with this. So we're going to bring up the picture of the dog again. Picking up the picture of the dog here. But not for the dog. How do you scroll? I cannot get to the corner. Okay. So this upper left corner, that upper left corner you see there. That's all soda. If I remember right, that is approximately 28 cases of soda. I was such a fat ass at the point at that time that what I would do to save money on soda so I could continue drinking soda, the obscene amount that I used to drink, 
I went out to the grocery store when they were having like a four 12 packs for $9 sale or something like that. I would go out and I would just, I would just every day, I'd go out and buy another, buy another four 12 packs. Like every day for the entire week the sale was going on. And you ever think, oh wow, that's a lot of soda. How, that must have lasted you a couple of years. Six months. If that. I was very much a piece of shit. Ugh. Okay, so this is a hypothetical question. Well, Nara, we say growing up. I think I was 25 in that picture. Meaning I should have been paying attention to my health a little bit more. <sighs> anyway, so here's a hypothetical bit. Cause I do enjoy, I am enjoying these streams where I just get to chat with you guys now. So, my mother, that's disgusting. So my mother, she found this for cheap somewhere. She didn't say where, and she was going to give it to my nephew cause he likes to play with Legos. It's a micro bricks thing. She's going to give it to one of my nephews, but then we saw that the aging on the box was 14 plus, and it's like, and I was like, oh, I mean, you can definitely give it to him, but I'm not, but I'm not sure if he should have that yet. So it's like, oh, okay, well here, you put together one of these things before you can have it. So, I have a micro brick thing, and I put one of these together before, but this one's a peek or two. So I wonder, at some point in the future, maybe have a stream of me putting together one of these micro brick things because... Give me a minute. When I uh, pre-ordered my copy of the Insane Trilogy for Switch, they sent out a micro brick of Crash. Let me tell you, this thing took me four to five solid hours of work one night when I had nothing else I needed to do. So I guess a potential stream could be to put together this Pikachu. And of course I would adjust the camera so you could like see my progress as I point it down as I point it down at the table right here in front of me and all that jazz. But hey, I guess this is a test the waters, and I might ask on Twitter if I feel like doing it one day of hey. Do you want a stream of me putting together micro brick peek or two? And the other thing. And I'm just going to tell you this, but because I'm not going to reveal anything, but I think I'm after about, I want to say, I want to say it was about the time Mama Jelly found me. Mama Jelly found, found out about my channel. Uh, I did a name that game tune stream, which is listen to a song from a game and then you get, try and guess the name of the song. I think I almost have enough material here to put together to put together another one of those name that game tune sessions. I'm like six songs short, so maybe I can piece together another name that game tune stream. 
potentially. Maybe I crack down on myself. I could get it done before the end of the uh, get it done for the end of the week. Make that a Saturday thing. Like for people who weren't here. Oh god, do I even have that archive? You know, I gotta go look through my I gotta go look through my channel now. Cause the reason I did the first one a while ago is cause Odin's back. I don't know if he's still here or if he's lurking or whatnot. He uh He for a while had Oh yes it is here. Sweet. Uh for a while there. He had a weekly name that video game tune stream he would do where he would play game tunes and then repeat it back or he would, and then you guys would, people would guess and it would be a scoring system. Okay. So I might do another one of those here soon because like I said, I'm, I'm not going to show you the list I have right now because it would ruin everything. But like... I feel like I could dig out, I could dig up another six songs from places, you know, start making some themes and whatnot for categories, and put that together again. Now, I think on the original one, uh, I think the original one, yeah, it's the, the original name that game tune I did is not eligible for monetization. This might get locked for a second. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up. Pause. Thank Let's you. play along, or would you? Okay. Okay, I need you to hush back here. So yeah, I mean. I'm trying to find now, but yeah, this this whole stream. It's a stream within a stream. So I might, I might, like I said, I'm like six songs short, so I might kick it into high gear and just start digging through archive. I might go over to my wall of games over here and just like look at games and say, okay, let's get a song from this game, this game, this game, and just jam it all together and make it one really quick. updated yes the leaderboard has been updated score on the right but he's on thing on the leaderboard okay so i guess if i did it again I like i guess like i'm doing this right now just as a thing i'm kind of like i'm kind of grasping at straws because i don't want to play any more games right now but i also don't want to like I don't want to play much more tonight, so I think I'm going to end off the stream soon, but I'm kind of giving you a taste of it if I do decide to, like, kick my ass in the high gear and get on stuff. Oh, yeah. Nero was here. Look, you can see his dumb name. Right? I mean, you can see his lovely name right there. Love you, Nero. <laughs> So kind of give you a taste of it. It's just like. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So this might get a little loud, but this is basically how it works. How it works is basically. I sat down with. Basically it's. Um, I play about 30 seconds to a minute of a game song. And you have that period of time to guess it. And when I put and when I put ten seconds in the chat, like you see there occasionally on the left, when I put ten seconds, that's when your guess has to go in. So like uh this one. Sweet. 
So like I this is this is long and over, but like this song, this is Nappa's theme from Dragon Ball Fighters. So at this point. Yeah, you only have to say the name of the game it's from. So you would type, at this point, you would type Dragon Ball Fighters. If you know the name of the song, like, it's frowned upon to reverse search yourself. It's, it's, frowned, it's frowned upon to, like, do a reverse Google search, so don't. But that sucks. And nine times out of ten, you only get one get. You really only get one guess. But if you have no idea what the song is, it's better just to guess, like Ringer did here. It's better just to guess. I don't think the. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Knowing the name of the song, I don't think I would really give points for the name of the song. That's just me though. At least that's not how the structure usually goes. It's like, if you know the name of the song but not the song itself, I don't think you get any kudos points. But, again, like, when that song 6 comes up, if you aren't typing out your answer by the time I say song 6 in chat, you, you, I won't take your answer. It's too late. You missed the guess. It's kind of like Jeopardy in a sense. Like, I think I gave a half a point to, uh, to Power to Mario here. Because he said it, like, right as I passed by. But I also will do categories with this. Like, this song, this is from, like, you kind of get a theme. Like, I give the category a theme there. Because it kind of gets you thinking, you know, what could these, what could this game genre be is kind of what the category as I gave it so them fighting words first song was from Dragon Ball Fighters this song is from Pokemon Tournament this one Street Fighter 5 and I think and I think what the kind of a yeah and I think one of the, one of the rules we did is because there are so many games that have the same theme song, but from generation to generation, is is if like you get the wrong song iteration. Like in this case, it's Street Fighter Five, but if you goof up and say Street Fighter Four, if you're the only one that guesses it, if you're the only one that guessed it all and even got remotely close, then you get a half point. And this is like a kind of a house ruling kind of thing I do. But like if you get like, if you get that, it's like there's a half point for, there's half point, or I guess one point, but half a point for you. But it's because you're the only one that was even remotely close. And I think it's referred to as the smash rule of, excuse me, I think it's the, I think it's referred to as the Smash Brothers rule of a lot of songs could be attributed to Smash Brothers very easily. But unless it is specifically that song from Smash Brothers, then you don't get the point. Like I think I gave a point to uh, PTM here as well because of that. And again, this one, that one was, well, I cut it off, but that was Rivals of Aether. So that's a fighting game. So everything in that category, a fighting game. Uh, just skipping through here. Wow, we had a lot of mid-topic banter, didn't we? Hey, look, Nary, you got points. But then this one, you might get the, well, depending upon what genre you're most invested in. Like this one is role play. Very easily, role playing games.
Like that one, this is Luffy, this is Luffy 2 or Luffy DS. I think this one specifically is, is Luffy DS. This game, and my name's Booster from Super... So yeah, and I'll... And at the end of the round, I usually I will go back and I'll recap on everything. Just be like, okay, here's the actual name of the song. God, what did I have? Oh, no, that's the thing. That's the beauty of it. Like, you can still guess. Like, yeah, you get one guess. But, like, if time's almost up, fire out a guess anyway. I would like to take the... Like, what was this one? I really just kind of went all over the place that, didn't I? I think Sand in My Boot was all, like, uh, desert themes. Do 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 Party time, I think, was just, like, a general party thing. Treasure Hunter, games that are based around treasure hunting or, to an extent, Metroidvania games. I think I threw in there. I think the songs I had, I think I had, this one I had a DuckTales song, a La Mulana song, Legend of Zelda. I think this one I picked like, I picked songs that were from not mainline Mario games. So like, I think I had a Mario Strikers in here. I had Wario Land, you know, just stuff like that. All I remember is like, I gotta find out when it was. So like I remember I remember so vividly at this point going through I'm just going through this for memory. It's just like I remember Tamal came in. There we go. Tamal came in at the ass. I remember Tamal came in at the ass end of this. Like, here he is at Song 40 when I was playing the Danganronpa tune. Which was Song 40 out of, I think, 60 I did for this one. Tamal ended up winning. <laughs> but yeah. This category is just like things that have... this And gone. Things that just had gone as part of their main stick. You know, Star Fox, you shoot guns. Danganronpa, ha trigger Happy Havoc. You know, things of that sort. Uh, what else do I have? Yeah, I kind of went crazy with the, uh, yeah, uh, racing game, songs of the racing games. Okay, I won't do this this time. I won't do it to, like, this extent, but I think I had, like, four rounds of, I think I had, like, four rounds of wild card, where it was, like, everything was doubled. Points wise. Just because I couldn't find anything. Wait, why was I sad?
but yeah, it's just, but yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, dro I'm dwelling on this too much because I really like doing this, but I, I never like think of like songs to pull up a lot. Oh no, a little bit of everything. I remember what a little bit of everything was now. A little bit of everything was games that were compilations. Games that were compilations of tons of games. Like WarioWare and I put Nintendo Land on the list. That's what a little bit of everything was. I did two wildcard rounds. Oh yeah, there's Farf came rolling in right at the end. Good job, Farf. You did it. No, you didn't have less than that in era, but you did lose to Kevin. Sorry, I just... I got really engrossed in this. I'm going to put this away now. But yeah, I just... It's fun to do. It's fun to do, and it's fun to have people enjoy. The only thing is, if I do it, I have to hard commit and give like people a week's notice. And I have to set out a specific time when I do it. I have to like set thing. I have to basically set everything in stone super far in advance. And I can't mess around. I can't do my normal, okay, I'm going to stream now kind of thing I've been doing recently. Anyway. Well, was... so yeah, I think. I'll put out an announcement on Twitter. Like, if I do decide to do it this week, I'll put out an announcement on Twitter as early as I can. And I'll also let you guys know Thursday on here if I decide to do it. But we'll come to that, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, if that happens. But now that I've dilly dallied for an initial God knows how many long minutes just reminiscing on the past, did anybody have any questions? Because I'm going to end off the stream now. <laughs> Uh, let me reset Mario so I can keep my safe state. But how all the safe states look? Oh, I guess that's how they do all do all look. is not an instrument. Horse trash isn't an instrument either. No, this is Patrick. Alright. I'm gonna undo my little dealie here. Of controller mish mish mash. But yeah, if I do do if I do another name that if I do another God damn. uh call Bill Murray. He might know them. <laughs> um, excuse me. Luigi's messing with things. Help.
I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot Bill Murray was in Ghostbusters. I just picked Bill Murray because I've been seeing a lot of posts about him recently. Hands cold. Listen, man, I don't watch I don't watch movies. I barely watch movies. Oh. Right, Farf, you're here. I'm gonna turn off this. <laughs> 